hi crystal balls welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video today if this is your first time here welcome please think about sticking around <laughs> liking commenting sharing and subscribing for all of you who are on this journey with me i want to say thank you very much for that i appreciate every single one of you and i really hope that some of you all will subscribe i do have a lot of people watching but most of you guys are not subscribed and that's I get it but it takes like two seconds out of your date and it really really helps me so if you're able to do that great um this is just sunny I thought I would start with sunny because she's so cute um I also um just again wanted to do a quick intro quick prayers and good thoughts and whatever you do please send that to Rosie and um if you guys can help at all outside of thoughts and prayers and snuggles or whatever you want to send to Rosie. Um, if you can donate, just take a look at my page, the description box, and you will see um, tips, everything tip-wise, reading-wise, anything that I get, it's all going to help Rose's vet bill um, in surgery that we have not been able to schedule yet, unfortunately. Um, also, if you guys could pass on a little bit of whatever good luck, happiness, prayer, good vibes, whatever you guys do, um, I'm trying to move into a new place and I could really use all the luck that I could get because I need said place. All right. So thank you for that. And today we are going to be doing a reading about Will Smith. Now, if you don't know who Will Smith is, he's an American actor who, um, well, he started off as a rapper. He and, um, crap, I can't even think of his name right now. But anyway, rapper turned to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, um, played Muhammad Ali, has a uh, hitch. He's had comedy. He's had serious dramas and things like that. Last night at the Oscars, last night as the filming of this video at the Oscars, which I did not watch, but the clip was everywhere. I didn't even know the Oscars were on yesterday. Um, uh, Chris Rock, I, I guess he was, I thought he was the host. I don't know if he was or not, but he made a crack about Jada Pickett Smith, which is Will Smith's wife, um, about her being bald. And I guess she has alopecia and you know, that's, that's a sensitive thing, but you know, Will Smith got up, punched Chris Rock in the face and sat back down. Now, I don't know if this was staged or not. I'm leaning towards it was, but I, want to make it abundantly clear that I do not condone this act of violence and neither does my page. And there is no excuse for that. That was cowardly. That was stupid. That was in very poor taste. And yes, I'm sorry that that hurt your wife's feelings. But during the whole Oscars, they did some pretty incredible horrible things about, you know, erasing women, um, not, uh, not memorializing queer icon and rice, you know, they just, they were really horrible towards women in every clip that I've seen. And that's disgusting. Very much female erasure, you know, there are many other things to be mad about, especially that room of people, including Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith, who are both on the flight logs for Jeffrey Epstein and Maxwell, whatever it was, Giselle Maxwell. Um, you know, you can believe it's true or not. It's up to you, but, you know. And Sean Penn. Sean Penn, guys, I have no, he's on list. He has done some really, really bad things. And um, that stuff I I know that's not stuff that's a rumor. Um, we will maybe go into that in another time, but Sean Penn is one of the most dangerous people on the planet as far as his agenda. And it is not good. But we're going to talk about Will Smith, and I'm sorry, I've been rambling for a few minutes, and see what in the hell is going on with him. Now, like, I know he and Jada 
supposedly had an open relationship for a long time, but apparently she cheated on him and yada, yada, yada. I, I know there's been a lot going on there, but he just seems like he lost his shit. And again, I do not condone him going up on stage and punching a person in the face because that just opens the floodgates now of, okay, well, how many people are going to just go up and punch people in the face now? It was embarrassing and it was not classy at all. So what's going on with Will Smith? He's riding high, man. So apparently he did win the Oscar last night. I, I, I again, I can't even tell you what movie he was in for the, uh, for the movie that he won best actor for. But what I'm seeing here is he's riding high right now. He might have appeared to have been crying and maybe resentful, remorseful. I think resentful is honestly the better word, but he stands behind what he did. And the buzz that is happening for him right now is exactly what he wanted. He likes this, this, um, particular card the um, eight of wands is all about communication and there are so many lines of communication open now not all of them are positive but that doesn't matter to him he has had a lot of not the best press recently and a lot of people have kind of made him the butt of the joke he does not in my opinion, um, he doesn't rake people in like he used to, like back in MIB days and things like that. It's just different now. Um, I'm not saying that he's worse uh, actor or anything like that, but I'm literally just saying he doesn't have the box office draw, in my opinion, than he has, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Um, he, I, I do see Jada here. Um, I don't think she condoned this at all, this act, whatever this was. If you guys believe it was staged or not, it doesn't matter as far as the reactions. The reactions are real. The, you know, the consequences are going to be real. He's, you know, this is something that happened. Um, she was embarrassed by it. That, that wasn't love. That was possession that happened. And she, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like she's disappointed and embarrassed. They are definitely looking at their world right now and trying to figure out what to do next. It's almost like, well, I can take this opportunity and do something about it. Um, I can do an opportunity and do something good or I can do something bad. I don't know. He's trying to repair his reputation because a lot of people are angry about this. There are a lot of people who saw their own triggering situations in this punch the smack, I mean, quite frankly, the guy, I, I don't know if he held back or he was acting or what. Again, I don't know. I, I honestly think it was staged, but he didn't hit Chris Rock that hard. It, the guy trained to be Muhammad Ali. He did boxing. You can't tell me that he didn't learn how to throw a punch at that point. And, you know, he also was fighting as a kid and did some bad stuff as a kid. And that's whatever. But the guy knows how to throw a punch. And I really feel like if he was going to go and actually punch Chris Rock in the face and with all his might, without thinking about it, being that angry... He would have knocked him down at the very least. Not, not necessarily knocked him out, but knocked him down. But I see so many people, um, women's groups especially, and there's nothing wrong with this being triggered by this situation. This was wrong, guys. I don't, nobody should condone this. 
And this was not the worst moment in Oscar history. I mean, people are saying this is, but not even close. I mean, there's degradation in horrible things that people have done to Native Americans that you can read about Marlon Brando and the Duke and the things that happened to a Native American woman there who was declining an Academy Award on behalf of Marlon Brando and John Wayne was going to go after her. Um, but this is very triggering for people. I am sure that they are going to, yeah, they're going to be passive lay down basically. Um, they meaning Jada and will for a little while, they're going to probably donate to, Nonviolent places, um, women's shelters, like things like that, which to me, it's a fruitless effort. It's wonderful that you're going to donate money to that. Um, but you're doing it for the wrong reasons, but these places need money. But then again, I don't know what type of places you're filtering through money because if it's their places, then, you know, I don't, I don't trust anybody in the Hollywood circuit because of, you know, it's, it's bad there and people step on people and there's, you know, human trafficking is a huge thing in Hollywood and it's been that way for a very long time. Again, they were both on Epstein's list. So, I have a problem with using a charity as a means to save public face. And that's what's going to be happening. Um, I also have this Buddhist feeling here where I wonder if Will Smith is going to be all Zen and try to you know, come out and be like, I did anger management. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I, I've had therapy or, or he's going to make his formal announcement of being a member now of the church of Scientology. And this is something that has been rumored and happening for a very long time. Um, I'll see here. Well, justice is coming from, I'm not going to touch Scientology with a 10 foot pole. Okay. That's a, it's a dangerous situation. I'm just saying that, um, I'm going to pause here and come back to justice. But, um, as far as Scientology, that is, um, I don't want my little itty bitty channel shut down and I'm not saying anything positive or negative about them outside of their huge force. And it is known that Will Smith ha and Jada Pickett Smith have been taking courses and um, have been dabbling in Scientology. And it is a, uh, they claim to help with things like anger management, addiction, things like that. So uh, that's all I'm saying is this might be the time that he publicly announces it because a lot of people think that he privately practices it. Um, justice is going to come even if Chris Rock does not press any sort of charges, the Academy might. And quite frankly, they, they need to judgment. The whole world is obviously judging him right now. Um, Again, I, I completely think this is a fabricated thing in order to get people to talk and bring attention back to the Oscars. The Oscars have been a ratings nightmare in the last several years. Um, and again, a lot of people are finally looking at Hollywood stars for who they are, which aren't very good people. Um so there's judgment coming in a lot of ways. There's judgment coming in towards Will. There's judgment coming towards Jada and Chris Rock and the Academy and everybody in that room. And there's people who are for Chris Rock getting punched in the face and there's people against it. And, you know, people are talking. Everybody's being very judgmental, which is fine. This is the biggest thing that I worry about. The bad energy that this brought out i i have told you guys before that 
I, I truly, I, I just, I don't believe I do know some of these things very well that Hollywood has a cult like atmosphere and there's a lot of evil there and there's a lot of evil people. And this is not good. This is a, I, I, I don't know guys. I'm so shocked at the amount of people who are like, yeah, yeah, you know, go punch, but go punch them. Seriously. I mean, honestly, I'm a person who I understand violence happens and it's not like Chris Rock stood up there and said something truly terrible. Yes, it was a bad joke, but it didn't necessarily need that reaction. It's not like, you know, a parent going after someone who's trying to hurt their child or something like that. It's a very different energy, but this focuses on the negative. The more that people pay attention to the negative, the more that these people draw off the energy and they're drawing off of all of this negative energy. And I, I really, I really feel that Will Smith right now is hollow. There is strength, but who is that from? It feels strength from the mother. So there's strength from Will Smith's mother. I don't know if she's still alive. Um, I'm really sorry. I honestly don't know if she's still alive or not, but it feels like there's a lot of love, strength and protection coming from the mother, at least the mother figure in his life. So if that's not his mother, it might be a grandmother very, it's not his wife. It's not, you know, his daughters or anything. This is somebody older. It feels like mother or grandmother, but there's love, strength and protection coming from her. Um, I, yeah, cause it's her darling. It's her darling son. Um, it, it is, she, she's trying to surround him with love and protection and prayers and, you know, again, I don't know if she's alive or if she has passed, but she is trying to surround her son with love and protection. And she is taking this very seriously. Her heart is hurt by this. Um, there's still a fight to be picked and it depends on if he wants to put down his swords or if he wants to continue this battle. So I feel in the next few weeks, you're definitely going to see Will Smith making excuses and the story is going to change multiple times, even though you see things that happen in real time. And, um, there are clips out, uh, the, the story is going to change. And you're going to hear that they got into some sort of altercation beforehand. Um, they got into an altercation a week ago. Uh, they've been fighting for years. There's, you know, this has been building up between the two of them for a very long time. They are going to be spinning this story and that's ridiculous, but it's going to happen. So just, just know in the next few weeks, the story is going to change and people are going to be more, um, apt to believe that there was a longer standing beef that happened here than just what happened. Um, young energy. Who is this young male energy? This is not either one of nobody's children involved. So not me, meaning not Will Smith's children, not Chris Rock's children. There's another youth in here. Um, I don't know if there was a young man in the audience. And I mean by young man, I mean somebody under the age of 15 who I hear is going to speak very eloquently about this entire situation and really make people sit back and think. Um, there is going to be some sort of healing that happens um, between Will and Chris, but quite frankly, it doesn't matter. The damage has already been done. The damage has done, been done publicly. You can never take that back. And do I think this is going to ruin 
either one of those guys' careers? No, not at all. And I, I just think, uh, I still think it was staged. Was it staged? Mm. So they're backing off again. Again, I see silence. I see backing off. I see running away. Um, very much like I'm putting my head down. I think there was money involved in this. Oh, good God. Some idiot is going to cast these two in a movie together. They're probably going to have like a buddy comedy together. They're sending you. Oh, this is kind of all over the place and I, I get it. I do stream of conscious readings. I don't cut them because I want you to just kind of know what I'm seeing here. Um, but at the end of the day, somebody is holding money. This is not, this is, this is the queen holding money. This isn't a situation where I'm talking about something precious outside of material things it's very much money and I really really do believe that this was an embarrassing stupid stunt whether it was real or not it is a stunt that's exactly what it's turned out to be and everybody is talking about it which is terrible and I'm I honestly I know that's ironic because I'm doing this right now but as I'm doing this, I want to remind you that these people are on Epstein's list. These people in that room, many of them have files. Many of them are people who have partaken into some particularly disgusting things. And again, I'm going to mention why ever they had Sean Penn on there for a moment. He is not a person that should be representing anything or anyone. How is he in the Ukraine? How? Ask why he is following all of these disasters around. I want you guys to think about that. I am taking this time to remind you that there are some pretty deviant, dark things in the Hollywood scene, and you should not look up to these people. I don't. And we talk about them. They're in the public eye. It's natural to have curiosity about them because they are out there. But as human beings, they are not the same people as they are in their movies. And not every single person is like this. I don't want to get, you know... Somebody is saying, oh, we're so-and-so. It's not like this. I, I don't know about so-and-so, but I do know about a few people. Sean Penn's one of them. And he's a very sadistic, sick person. But while we're all sitting here talking about Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, Chris Rock, we're also missing other big things that are happening in the news. It's just another distraction. And I want us all to look around and see what we're being distracted from. All right, everybody, that is my weird reading about what happened at the Oscars. I mean, I was going to do just Will Smith, but it kind of turned into the Oscar situation. So um, here's, here's Rosie sleeping. I'm not going to show you her face because it's still really puffy. But if you guys could please, please, please help Rosie by either giving her some lovey thoughts, prayers, cuddles, whatever. Um, that would be wonderful. If you can share any of the information that's under my tips, like I said, all my tips are going to help little Rosie um, to get her surgery done. I mean, she's a cancer dog. We don't want anything to happen to her. She's a bright spirited dog. You know, even though she's a devil dog, she's great. She's you know, quite a, a good dog. She has a very good heart. And if you guys could take a moment and maybe send some good light and love my way of finding a place to live, that would be amazing. So thank you for me, sunshine and Rosie. And remember that every single day is a gift. Use your time wisely. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.